Howdy! My name is Danny Kreister. Today we're going to find out what the hell is this, this machine. This is lathe. Metal lathe to be precise. I didn't get behind the lathe at all until the day I got it. I mean, I did not know how to use it and did not actually know the wide range of things it can do. All functions, the details and stuff. This is the type of equipment that expands your capabilities as soon as you get your hands on it. If you are not a dumbass, soon you realize how many things you can create using it. The main shapes that are made on it are of course solids of revolution. For example, take this file. Look at it carefully. The handle is a complex conical shape. That ring is also round, and actually, the file itself, not considering its knurling, it's also kind of cylindrical. Everything is round, everything rotates around one axis. Beside the solids of revolution, it performs um, various facing operations, when you can make cubes or parallel pipes. And if you wish, you don't have to center the workpiece. Then you can get ovals and other complicated figures. Things that the milling cutter is famous for, like all these units moving along the axis, have no idea how they're called, the details of this machine, they even allow milling. Although this is not a milling cutter, it's a lathe. Besides all these parts here moving along the same axis, they are rigidly and precisely fixed. Like this one moves like this, this one moves around this axis, this one rotates, this one moves back and forth, this one moves like this, you can put it at any angle. You can change all these things with your add-ons. Like instead of the cutter holder, you can put the device to use the lathe chalk for milling. You can add other stuff here, that's fucking insane! For example, with Burbrier's cutter, you can cut out balls. If you connect the tailstock and the cutter holder together, you can cut out concave surfaces, lenses and other complex shapes. Beside usual turning operations, when the workpiece is rotating, you can put, for example, a cutoff tool slightly at an angle in a horizontal position and make grooves. Cut grooves, smooth out grooves. Also, there's this special thing here called broaching head. It's a stair-shaped cutter which you can push in with a tailstock. You can broach internal profiles which are needed to fix the gears, pulleys and other shit which needs fixing with keys. It's demountable fixing, not welding. Also, all that crap can be used as a little press to press in the bearings easily. Besides, it has many funny name details. For example, tailstock, it even has a headstock and of course, the grease nipple. If you want, you can pull out a hexagon shaped hole using a tailstock. Actually, it should be mounted on a rotating back center. But really, you can make splines, which is actually quite difficult. On industrial scale, they're usually made by stamping. Also, there's a thing called spindle nut. If you tighten it, you make a support break into a dance. Then you can make threads of any pitch, any kind you want. You can even make rolls with your hands off. It will do it itself. If you turn this piece of shit, you can make cones considering the angle you choose. Actually, you can even play around and turn it in any obscure position, turn the rotation backwards and just go nuts the way you want. Sure, you can use all materials proper for cutting, even glass. 
Besides cutting, you can do any other types of surface processing, for example, rolling. You can roll on any pattern you like on a handle or something else. You can spin over, spin in, even spin the metal for the shapes you need. If you need to make a hole exactly in the middle of a workpiece, if it's round, you should use a three-jaw chuck. It positions the workpiece right in the center of the drill bit you need to make a hole with. Also, if you really need, you can use other tools for processing. For example, you can use the angle grinder to cut something off with a saw or scarf something with a file. Any fucking thing! Yeah, I've completely forgotten. You can cut the details on the lathe with a machine precision guarantee. I mean, the details you make can be used to create mechanisms which can fulfill your requirements or make you laugh or do something useful, the machines can do anything. Also, besides all these parts, things and stuff that move and rotate and so on, there is a shitload of cutters. A shit fucking load of cutters of various shapes, which help to get into various places to do something unusual. For example, some forming cutters, which let you make pulleys, rollers, anything. You can even form springs. I mean, like, real springs. But actually, you'll need some proper material for that, like spring wire. But it's a fact. You can make springs with a needed diameter and pitch. Springs are... Ugh, fucking springs. Springs, yay! And that's not everything that this beast can do. And now, please excuse me, I'll have to cook me some dinner. Ah, the barbecue is ready. Don't want to take it off. It's hot. Let's use the lathe. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come to me. And one. And two. And three. No worse than the food processor, huh? Actually, thank you very much for watching, I'm quite peckish. If you dig this video, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I am going to eat some meat. Screw not, fuck, should've break the corners. Barbecue, awesome!